Another field trip. We're heading out today to take a look at a 1964 VW Westphalia Camper. It has all the options, some that you will not believe, so you probably ought to watch to the end because I had no idea that they had these kinds of options. So uh, here we go. This is a 1964 Volkswagen Westphalia Camper. It is an SO34 camper package, which has a sub hatch and a flip seat. There is so much going on in this camper. It's gonna take us a little time to get through it, but look at how cool this is. The owner, Dwayne, is gonna take us through it. So, Dwayne, what do we got here in the back? Well, to begin with, I'd show you this because I'm gonna to refer to it later. The spare tire will pull out and there's a mount here in the middle that you can mount your table to if you want your table outside of the camper. So that's the beginning. This cabinet will roll forward because we have a Coleman stove that can sit here and you can cook out of the back. Or you can rotate it around. It's caught on something. And now you've got room for maybe a small child to sleep in the back. This is the storage for the Coleman stove and other things. I've got, you know, stuff in there now, but that this is the Coleman stove that comes with the bus. On this side, there's two storage cabinets, and I keep all kinds of miscellaneous stuff in there. I'll go over here to the side. Now, in opening this up, this is a, a cabinet on the door. Originally, there would be a bowl uh, for water that you'd take out and put your water in here so that when you want to shave in the morning, here's your mirror, okay? Now, go, again, there's storage in this. Then we have our wardrobe closet, and inside there I keep chairs and but our table is stored in here now this table comes out there's a leg and it mounts here in the floor in this hole when you want it inside or you can take the spare tire and mount it outside attached up here is our chandelier so it plugs in here you've got a cord I can move this around to different places cords long enough I can take it out and hang it in the tent so this is our interior light, other than the lights that come with the bus. This is our ice box. Okay, it's not a refrigerator, it's an ice box. And then Germans being who Germans are, they have to have their wine. This is a wine rack. And above it is stored the tumblers for the wine. There's a child's cot that's stored up here. It attaches over the front seat. So it, it's like a sling that goes over the front seat. That's for uh, a small child. What about uh, the hatch? The hatch, okay. To open the hatch, you have to loosen these knobs. And then it pushes up and it's got a rod that has different positions. Now I can open it all the way up so that I can access my uh, luggage rack if I need to. But this gives you light and lets air in. Now this is a jump seat, so you have a, another place for people to sit. On the outside here, you'll see that there's some mounts. I have two tents. There's a, what's called a foyer tent that attaches here, and it's only that wide. It comes out about this far. So it gives you some protection from rain and stuff in the entrance and egress from the, the bus. Then there's a full tent that attaches to these far outside ones, and it comes out probably about this far. Okay. And they've got rods and stuff that go and attach to different mounts. Here's the front mount. The 
reason why they call these a flip seat is because of the way that the bed is made. The front seat has three positions. This is a position for driving. I can take it and flip it over like this and it becomes a seat for into, into the interior. Or I can rotate it and have it like this and it locks in place. Um, and this becomes part of your bed. I always put my feet at this end. I don't want my head in that confined space. <laughs> the rest of the bed is made up of these cushions. You can see this surface here and this surface here. Those two cushions that make up that seat come up and out and there's a third cushion that's stored behind them that fills in the last gap. So you have a bed from the wall to about here, about that wide. That's pretty much it. Dwayne, that's just about the coolest VW I have seen. Thank you so much for taking us through it.